Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Thanks for coming to the show. Uh, thanks for all the birthday wishes too. I'm officially another year older. Not so sure about the wiser part. Today's video, um, I think you're gonna wanna watch from start to end because it is chock full of information. I'm gonna cover two topics in one video. One is clock kits and the other one is pigments. So let's start with the clock kits first. I'm gonna talk for a few minutes, um, I have to. So about uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a live pour and I showed you guys a clock that I had purchased from a lovely artist who's a phenomenal, phenomenal resin artist. You're gonna to wanna to check out her channel. The link will come up here and again at the end of the video and I'll put a link in the description section. You must see her. She's gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Because I don't know her and she doesn't know me other than me buying a clock from her. <laughs> um, anyway, her name is Rivka Wilkins and Rivka has partnered up with a company called Bear Wood Supply. Um, and they're having a little promotion going on with her name attached to these clock kits. Now, I will forewarn you that they are more work than the average, like, say, Target clock, where you, you buy the clock kit, you do your pour, you varnish resin, add hardware, and boom, you're done. This is gonna require a little more effort, and as we go along, I'll be talking about that. These clocks are perfect if you're a resin artist. The tricky part is if you're a paint pour artist, how to pour on something, keep your design, and avoid all the notches for the hardware. That's the tricky part that we'll be talking about. But if you haven't seen that video, let me show you her work and then my work um, on a clock kit, and then uh, we'll get started. So. This is the clock. This is a 20 inch round that I bought from Rivka. It is gorgeous. Man, those shades of blue, look at the depth. She has the lacing, she's got the sand at the bottom. It's just, oh, the reflection's gonna get in the way. It's stunning. This is the back of it here, and I want you to notice one thing. It's how Rivka has added hardware, so she put on the D rings and wire and drilled it right into the wood because the kit comes complete with the hardware. So there's your quartz movement and battery, right? The quartz movement and battery that comes with the kit is just an insert. So you'll see how I get around that when I show you um, what I did. Um, I also want you to notice the fabulous clean lines and edges of this 20 inch round. So let me put him to the side. Now to test these out, I went ahead and bought two 12 inch rounds. I did one off camera and we're gonna do one today on camera. So here's my completed one. I just assembled it, so like the hands need to tighten up. So there's the front. Now obviously I did a Shelly Art style bloom and then resined it. Um, this is the 12 inch, like I said. The nice thing is they come in three sizes, 12, 16, and 20. And the other thing I really, really liked is that there are four hardware colors for the notches, for the, the hours, and for the hands. So you can get these in gold, silver, black, and white. So you can, you know, pick your own colors depending on the pour. And then I resined it. Now, if you look at mine, I made a mistake and I had to do things a little differently from her because she could assemble hers and then do her resin work because she didn't have to worry about the pour and blowing it and spinning it or doing the flip cup and worrying about the design, right? There is a difference. She could just drizzle on her sand and drizzle on her white and then blow out the middle part and she didn't have to worry about the composition in between the notches here. So that is a big difference. If you're, like I said, if you're a resin artist, these will be easy peasy. Um, the back of mine here, I went ahead, I need to tighten it up, sorry about that. The, I went ahead and used a different um, mechanism, one that already had the loop so that I wouldn't have, to, because I'm lazy and if there's a shortcut, I'm gonna find it. That way you can just hang it right from here. And I just got this, I think, you know, at Michael's or somewhere. Um, and that way you don't have to add hardware, you can just hang it from the loop. My mistake with this one, because I had to do things differently, 
is in the edges. Rivka has a video on how to start to finish make one of these. It's the, her videos are not um, numbered, but it's the fourth video in. She only, she has less than a dozen videos. She's new to YouTube. Um, and her channel is Rivka, R-I-V-K-A Wilkins, W-I-L-K-I-N-S. And it's the fourth video. And she goes through start to finish on how to make a resin painting on the clock kit from start to finish. And there are some differences when I say that work is involved is one is, let me show you. They come in two pieces. So this is the top piece, obviously. Um, now I've gone ahead and taped the back up like this so that when I do my paint pouring, the paint will flow through the um, notches where this one I picked black where these fit in like this and when you watch her video you'll see that she ends up gluing them in I found on that first example I did that some paint would get on the sides that I ended up having to hammer these in and you don't want to use a hammer hammer I used a rubber mallet to get them in and then to get them flush on the back so when you watch her video you will see that she assembles her whole clock first which means using I use um, Gorilla wood glue and then clamping it letting it dry she takes wood filler fills in the um, rough edges along the side and then sands the whole thing so she assembles her entire clock first she has that luxury because she's doing resin work. I don't feel like, if you're a paint pourer like me, I have that luxury. I have to do my pour first because I don't want this to clog up with paint, right? If I add my numbers first, like this, trying to pour around it, I'm gonna get these a mess and it would mean taping all of these up, inserting them. I haven't figured out an easy way to do that. To me, the easiest way is to do my pour first and then attach it and clamp it second and then worry about the edges third and then resin it and have, add my hardware. So, whew, a lot of info, cramming it in there. This is the um, donut, this is the back, so that's where your hardware is gonna go. Now, I taped this up as best I can, like really taped it up. I'm not going to worry about the hole in the center because normally I just take an X-Acto knife and cut through. I have these cute little stickers I get at Michael's for like a dollar that are perfect for covering up the hole. And I would just, just X-Acto knife that right out. So that part isn't worrisome. What's worrisome is getting paint in all of those notches. Now, if you just used this and didn't put the base on, probably no big deal because you could add that hardware before the paint is cured and just kind of um, use a rubber mallet and put them in and be done without the base. I like the base though, it makes the clock more substantial. So I do want the base. So the other thing I noticed too is the first time around I had let the paint run over the sides. That was um, problematic because that meant this side didn't have any paint. Hence the reason to paint it all a corresponding color. Um, this time I got smart and I taped up the edges as well. So it's taped up on the sides and I wanted to show you a quick little trick and then we'll get to painting. This is like 10 minutes long of me talking. Um, it's just to put the tape on the back side like this, put in notches and then if you put, make little, you know, pieces of grass and then you fold them down, they, you'll get all your pieces to lie flat. That's just a little tip for me to you to make it easier when you're working with round objects for functional art like that. Um, that said, I'm gonna turn the camera off, get on, I'm gonna talk about pigments next, and then we're gonna pour on that clock. Hold on. Okay, so before we pour on the clock kit, um, I wanted to quickly talk about um, color art pigments they have come out with a new line called putting on the glitz 
and they are phenomenal. If you use color art pigments before, you know how great the colors are. And um, these new ones do not stain, or not stain, they do not sink. They, well, yeah, they do not stain the back of your canvas. They are amazing, amazing. I think I have a part of the lid in this orange one. I wanted to show you um, with the back of the canvas because I was playing with them last night and I did this little eight inch pour right here. It's already dry, very glossy. And look at the back. It does not sink. There's no sinking it, and it doesn't stain the canvas. And this is all pigments and no acrylics, just straight pigments. So, um, I have another one I did too. Also, all pigments. Super, super pretty. And check out the back. Will not sink on you. They're really awesome. So, um, I wanted to play with some of the colors. So, I have two of the new putting on the glitz colors. This first one here is called um, Marigold. And I was like, Marigold looks similar to. I thought I had an orange already. So this is marigold. And then I realized I was thinking of a color um, from the regular line called orange peel. But orange peel is a, a bit softer. It's more vermilion looking. Um, I hope you can see that. This is more vivid. So it's not the same as the orange peel. I do have one pearl X color. I couldn't help it. I just love this shade of gold. This is Aztec gold right here by Pearl X. And I thought I would mix one in front of you and try out, this is Blissful Bordeaux. So we're gonna give Blissful Bordeaux a go. And today for my pouring medium, I'm also using Color Arts uh, Vivid Polypour, this stuff right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt some in my cup like this. I have a backup purple if this isn't the shade I want. That's my backup color. But let's give Blissful Bordeaux a shot and see what it's like. So these are like half a teaspoon. I'm going to use half of that, so an eighth of a teaspoon. I have a probably about an ounce and a half. So it's probably a little too much pigment. Let me close this up. I haven't um, tried this color yet, so I'm not sure of the shade. So let's see what it's like. I'm just going to mix that right up with my polypour. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Stir that up some more. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's. I just didn't want it to be um, too, too grapey, if you know what I mean. But that's, that's perfect with my palette. So that's my three colors. I just want to color test on this little five-inch square canvas before I move on to the clock kit. My color um, for a cell activator... Uh, this is mixed with my Australian Floetrol. It's actually Amsterdam. It's opaque. This is uh, ultramarine, ultramarine Violet Light. So that's my cell activator color. Um, I'm not so sure about it, but we'll give it a try. So that's why we test first. So this is more like a three to one ratio instead of four or two. I didn't want it too, too thin. All right, I'm already talked out, and I haven't even painted anything yet. So we'll test this out, and then we'll move on to the uh, clock kit. I'm gonna put this right here. As usual, colors, pouring medium, recipe, all of that will come up at the end of the video on the screen for you guys to screenshot. And let's just put, I wanted to talk about my hair dryer too, because I'm really happy with my new hair dryer. It's probably too big for this little tiny canvas, but, um, and I think I showed it in the last video, but the cool air setting is really cool air. It does not blow any heat whatsoever, which I really, really like. It's, um, it's already covered in paint. It's called a Wazer. I will, um, it'll be in my Amazon shop under paint supplies. Peel off some paint. 
this guy, so yeah, it has the cool, which you don't even need because the cool setting is no heat. Um, so it has three heat settings and then two um, speeds for the fan. Really, really good little hair dryer. All right, let's see the order. Let's do, we'll just go dark to light and our light to dark. Let's start with the, uh, with the orange first. So this is marigold. Let's go do marigold first. And then let's try, we'll put the Aztec gold on top of that. And then the uh, Blissful Bordeaux. I was putting a, a dollop of it on, on the lid so I know what shade it is. Always a good idea. So let that dry. And we'll do the Blissful Bordeaux. I like those three together very much. And let's try this new saw activator color. This is three to one. And I said I didn't want it too thin. I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna put another little baby squirt in here and make it like, <laughs> I don't know, three and a half to one ratio. Let me give this a stir. Yeah, I like that better. So like 3.5. I'm always messing around with the consistency of the sew activator. All right, let's give this a little blow out. I just had my hair done, so I'm not gonna puff on it. All right, put it on low fan, no air, no heat. my giant paint scraper. There are some colors on the corner. Love the colors though. Lo I'm thinking the, um, this might be a little light. I don't know. We'll see after we uh, give it a little spin or something. Let's squish some paint there. And some on this corner. I don't, you don't have to do this part. I just do it because I think it's fun. <laughs> uh, you don't have to really worry about the corners if you're gonna spin. I'm just giving that a second to let it collect and everything. I think I'll give it a little puff. So, part in my head. Kind of wreck those one cell. So we'll just give that a second, but oh my gosh. The uh, the shimmer from the uh, orange is amazing, amazing. Just gonna let that collect for a few seconds. Um, what else can I tell you about? I'm really happy with the pigments, the clock kit. Like Rivka, I can't say enough things about uh, her work. She's just amazing. Like you will definitely um, want to subscribe to her channel. All right, let's, is that, looks pretty low. Let's just give this a little spin. 
I think this color combo is the winner though for my clock. I think that'll look great with um, with the um, black hands. Yep, that's what we're gonna go with. There's that guy. Uh, I'm spinning it out. I forgot how deep it is. I only have coverage on one side. This is for testing though, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna put them off to the side. Um, I'll let the paint run down and just leave it be. That's a good little tester right there. That's a cute little painting though, right? Kinda happy with him. Just let me get my sides real quick. Oh yeah, I do like that cell activator color. That's uh, that's pretty great. All right, there's that guy. Let's move him away. All right, it says a little bit of paint to help the uh, clock part stick. See, now here's the dilemma, is it has all those notches that if you wanna do your pour and your spin, what I'll probably do um, at the end is put this on some cookie cutters, raise it up, and then I happen to have a, I'm sure you could use a straw or whatever, I happen to have an air, a mini air compressor. So I will probably use my air compressor um, and blow out the holes. Or I might just go ahead and use that wet paint to help these stick in the notches. Because as long as it's flat, it, the back of these need to be flush, obviously, to put the back half on. But you could just push that in because that'll hold it. If you, when you watch Reefka's video on how to do the clocks, she glues them in first. But like I said, she's doing resin work, so it's a, a little bit different. All right. And if someone out there can figure out a better way, please put it in the comments for pouring. I think if you're doing a swipe, then you're, you'll be fine. You'll be able to assemble first. Other than a swipe, I really can't think of any other pouring technique um, where you can assemble first. So, I'll put this down first. I think I'm gonna do, do I wanna do messy this time? I'm not so organized. Let's do the uh, orange first. And you're gonna want more, it's 12 inches instead of a little five inch. Oh my gosh, those two colors. They go great together. I love that. And then so the drama with the purple. And let's put the cell activator in the middle. Yep. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put my uh, fan on high this time.
Looks like I'm gonna to have to give a little puff in the middle and let everything rise up again. Excuse my head. I'm gonna hold my hair back. That should do it. I'd kind of like that to be blank because that's where your, your, your hands are in the middle. I'd rather see all the action around the uh, edges. So just wait 30 seconds, let that all rise up. I kind of look at it sideways to make sure it's all level. So I'm just gonna wait, put on the Jeopardy music. You really don't wanna hear me hum or sing though. Almost there, yeah. And then let's give this a little spin out and then I'm gonna raise it up. Um, you can see the paint running into the, uh, the slots there. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. That is really, really pretty. I have a thing for orange. Jen Neal, you'd be so proud. That's her, that's her jam is the orange. Really like that. So let me um, grab um, a couple of things. This is done. I'm going to leave it as is. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm back. I just discovered, you know, having, I had a moment of inspiration. And instead of using my air compressor, just because I'm really worried that even on the lowest setting, the PSI would be too strong. Um, and then I went to get a popsicle stick and I realized I had these little skewers, which seemed to be a perfect fit for me to go inside each slot and kind of wipe away the paint, which is perfect. So if you're going to, um, you know, pour the way I did. Like I said, there's a million ways to skin a cat and um, I'm sure you guys are more clever than I am and will come up with a better way of doing this. Um, like I said, if you're doing a swipe or resin work, um, you can definitely assemble your clock first or you're gonna want to. But this works great because I can see all the way down the paint is, um, Oh yeah, the skewer is the answer for sure. That's it for me, I'm talked out. <laughs> this is uh, really pretty. I'm gonna get you guys down for a close up and uh, clean up, get you out of my really messy box um, and show you these pigments uh, because they too are phenomenal. Hold on one sec. Okay, I cleaned up a little bit. The colors are showing on my camera a little darker than what they are in real life. And gosh, of man, I hope I can get the, the balloon to show up because the pigments are amazing. I am really, really happy with how this clock turned out. Oh, there, you can see it over there. Um, the gold with the orange and the, the purple. Uh, and look at the cell activator. That color is not that, that dark. You see? Oh, now that even looks dark. Really, really pretty. Um, I like the little separation of the blooms this time, too, so I'm glad I didn't puff everywhere. I was going to say um, that I was going to put this whole clock together, and then I realized there's no need because Rivka's um, video on this covers everything from A to Z, so there's no sense in me you know, reinventing the wheel. Just go watch her fourth video on her channel to see how to put these together. I will show you my final, final result um, once it has dried and cured and um, I add all the hardware. These little sticks here really are the winner for um, cleaning out. Look at that, it's perfect. Um, that way you can pour on it and assemble it after the fact. Yep, let me turn around and say goodbye. Ah, 
Okay, guys, that's it for me today. I'm, I'm talked out, even for me. Uh, the introvert in me is done. Uh, I hope you liked learning about another emerging artist in Rivka. Go to her channel, show her some love. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, she is phenomenal. Can't say enough uh, nice things about her work. Um, also, if you're so inclined, check out the new line of pigments from Color Art, the putting on the glitz. They are amazing. In the description section, you'll find my code. Save yourself 20% off. And I think they're running a special right now that if you buy like the six pack, you get a free color too. And the colors are drop dead gorgeous. That's it. Um, over and out for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And love to you all. Peace out. Hey guys, real quick, I'm back with the dried results of the uh, top of this clock here. It dried great, it dried in less than 24 hours. I'm just trying to show you if I can do it at night with my pot light. Um, the glimmer from the uh, putting on the glitz pigments are amazing, amazing. This came out really great. Um, it looks like I will be able to add um, the little notches for the clock fairly easy um, So that's great. And then I have let me grab I forgot to show you guys the um, <laughs> Results of the little test piece, which is this guy which actually is an adorable little uh, Companion piece. I'm really quite happy with that guy, too. So they're just going to um, hang out for a while this I'm going to wait a couple more days and then here the back um, glue it and clamp it let it dry and then add my um, hardware and then wait a couple weeks and give it a good resin so there they be i hope you guys enjoyed see you soon bye bye